We're out here today shooting this Smith & Wesson M&P 22 pistol. It's uh, built as a lightweight, reliable, understudy. If you got a full-size M&P like the M&P 9, M&P 40, M&P 45, it's got the same look and feel operation as the regular M&P. It's got the same feel to the grip. It's got the manual safeties on it, ambidextrous. If you choose to use those, they're on there. It's got the ambidextrous slide release. Um, it's got a good set. Novak style sights on it, dovetail front and rear. Anyway, it's got a comes with a 12 shot uh, magazine, which has been real reliable. We've tried this with uh, a lot of the cheap kind of ammo, the bulk subs on the market. We had uh, one failure to feed with uh, the Winchester bulk expert um, ammo. Other than that, it's run 100% reliable. We shot some stingers, shot some federal bulk, different things through it. Anyway, it's a lightweight, reliable, good feeling. Uh, good shooting 22 pistol uh, it's good even if you if you can't use anything bigger for self-defense 22 will do the job better than a sharp stick you know it's a lot rather have this and something like that a lot of people can't take much recoil if you can't you can use a 22 with something like stingers in it and all they come out of here really fast uh, you got 13 shots total in it 12 in the mag one up a spout real effective real easy to shoot real easy to keep on target Easy to keep your groups and spit out a lot of them real quick. The slag is also pretty easy to work on this thing. Not hard to push at all. So you can, uh, anybody with any hang strength at all can chamber around in this Smith & Wesson. Anyway, it's the M&P 22 from Smith & Wesson. Got it loaded up with some of the cheap bulk of uh, federal hollow points got from Walmart. It's been running real slick with these things. I loaded up now with some hot CCI Stinger 22 long rifle ammo, which will be good for defensive purposes if you want to use the 22 for that. Comes out of here and it's pretty effective stuff, but still easy to shoot.